The swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the Kala, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. from our colony worlds. My forces and I have managed to track them to a Terran facility, but we are under attack by the Swarm. The Swarm? I'm on my way, Talus. May Adun hide you until I arrive. Our brethren are being held prisoner across the complex. We must free them before the Swarm overwhelms the facility. Zeratul. I thought I sensed your presence. Let's not mince words. Why are you here? This place holds information I seek, and my captured brethren. I intend to free them both from the Terran's grip. This facility is a breeding ground for Amon's hybrid army. My swarm will embrace it from existence. 
But I know that won't stop you. So let me make this clear. Stay out of our way, Zeratul. Do not fear. We will not abandon this fight, Talus. If we are swift and clever, we can avoid the swarm. Very well. I have made our nexus point ready for your arrival. was at hand. What do you know of this facility, Zealot? The Terrans tortured us, experimented upon our flesh. Most did not survive. I have seen foul work of this nature before, but Narud is dead. Whose hand brought you here? Alas, I know not. Petal. We wish to join you, to avenge our brothers in arms. Then ready yourselves, Templar. We thank you, brothers. The Taldarim have been abducting Templar, bringing them to Terran stations, turning us into a hybrid. The Taldarim? Those heretics have never ventured so close to our worlds. This can only be the work of Amon. Templar, where were they holding you? Is El Naga Temple, unlike any I have seen. It was called Eris, but its location was kept a secret from us. Mobius and the Taldarim both served under Naru's command. He would have known the location of this temple. The Atreus system. This is where Amon was reborn. Deep within the Sigma Quadrant and under Taldarim guard. You have aided me in my quest, Zeratul. I am honor bound to help you in yours. We shall help you claim this temple. to their High Lord with blood. The Taldarim High Lord is here. This surely bodes ill. Our difficulties do not end there, Zeratul. This world is in its death throes. Warriors, fight with all you have and the temple will be ours. Here, here, to glorious battle! forward is clear at last. Yes, but the Taldarim are not known to take defeat lightly. They will come to rescue their High Lord, and in force. Go, Zeratul. Find the answers you seek within the temple. Our blades shall grant you the time you need. You have my thanks, Talus, and Taro Tassadar. Adun Toridas, brother. My lord, the intruders breached the temple. They will be upon us shortly. Seal the access way. I will contact the master. As the blade of Amon wills. This alcove overlooks the central chamber. That must be where Malash is hidden. Intruders here. 
The great work is in jeopardy. Abandon your fear, Malash. Redemption is at hand. Your universe will be freed of its suffering. Ready your people for war and await my command. It will be done. Follow Amon to war. We are too late. There is still hope, Zeratul. That device. The Taldarim are using it to communicate with Amon. Yes, and if we destroy it, we can delay Amon's forces long enough to warn Artanis. I will see it done. Face the harbinger of the Dark God's wrath. Done. The Taldarim are severed from Amon's guidance. Something's happening. I'm detecting a powerful fluctuation of void energies. Saratul, the keystone shall usher you unto hope. Tassadar, can it be? Talus, I have been granted a vision from beyond, the answer to our salvation. Your salvation shall come by my hand alone. Let your suffering come to its end. the temple. I must leave now. My warriors and I have made our way inside and are holding back the Taldarim. Make your way to us, now! There is no time, Zeratul. Make your escape. I will deal with the Taldarim. There must be another way. Go, now, and tell our Hierarch what has occurred this day. Our people owe you a debt we can never repay. For honor! At last, the prophecy has been fully realized. With sacrifice, we have been given hope. A vision from the Zelnaga that may aid us in averting eternal desolation. Now, I must return to my people. They will not understand my actions, but I will face their judgment. Make them understand, for only Artanis, young Hierarch of the Protoss, can unite our scattered factions as one before Amon's wrath engulfs the galaxy. at the threshold of destiny. For today, we will restore the glory of our legacy. Today, we will retake what we have lost and reclaim our homeworld. And may the Kala's light guide us. The invasion fleet stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. You must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul? Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! 
We will hear him out. The end war has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to ire. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Artanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. We have been through much together, Zeratul. But far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor! Commence the invasion! of ire is underway we are preparing to siege the warp network at Karasan now well done Salendis. once the warp conduits are free of infestation our forces will strike as one across the surface of ire the templar await your command hierarch Hybrid on ire. It is they who have been needing the sir. The warp conduits have been secured. Our starfighters are moving to take this fight across the surface. Take command of the invasion, Executor. Zeratul, you and I must discuss this most recent turn of events further. Seems the end war you warned of has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them a shadowy form. Amon. Yet, you spoke of a way to stand against him. This vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The Keystone shall usher you unto hope. Keystone? I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelnaga artifact on the Terran world of Korhal. It is the Keystone of this vision. The prophecies speak of Zelnaga standing against Amon in the end times. I believe this keystone will guide us to them. I have always trusted you, Zeratul, but the burdens of leadership demanded much of me. There are times I am uncertain whether I was truly ready for such weight. Your doubt is unfounded, young Artanis. You must embrace what you have become if you are to be the leader we now need. You will go to James Raynor on Core Hall and receive this keystone. I will marshal our forces for the war ahead. When you return, the Templar will be ready. Entaro Tassadar, old friend. And Taro Artanis, brother. The Void Seeker lies in ruins. What has transpired here? Zerg, protect the Dark Prelate. Mm, the 
Zerg in this area should have been eradicated. Stalkers, hurry to the Nexus Point nearby and warn our brethren. I must investigate this further. Zeratul, the Templar stationed here. I can no longer sense them within the Kala. Is that not impossible? Your kind cannot disappear from the Kala. Unless your nerve cords are severed. Then the impossible has happened. I can no longer sense Artanis. There is only a void in the Kala where he should be. The shadow moves against us, Executor. Artanis is in grave peril. You must raise an army and find him. My face smith, Karax, will help you re-establish this nexus point. Zeratul, save Artanis. Zeratul, I... I can sense your presence. The Kala is filled with rage. My mind is being consumed. Artanis, you must hold on. We are coming for you. Your lies are meaningless, purposeless. I grant you salvation. Amon, the Dark God is here, on ire. He has wrested control of the Kala. The Templar have fallen. With our nerve cords severed, only we Nerezim remain unaffected. It falls to us to halt this madness, brothers. I... I can hear... his... whispers. Fight, Tartanus! Do not let Amon consume you! Unending... Hatred. He has corrupted the Kala. Your nerve cords chain you to his will. They must be removed.
Faysmith Carax. I have been looking for you. Artanis. Oh, praise Your the nerve gods. cords. They must be removed. It was done by the Dark Templar. I am free of the Kala's corruption. Are there others? I have saved all that I could. Come. We must escape this world before time runs out. Escape? How? The Spear of Adun still rests beneath the ruins of Kor Shakal. Its generators are ancient, but a phase smith of your ability will know how to bring them online. The Spear of Adun? I... I am honored to have the opportunity. This is fortune we cannot ignore. Indeed. Come, we must go at once. The Spear of Adun lies dormant beneath the heart of the Conclave. I had hoped to raise it, to secure our victory against the Zerg. But now, it is our last hope for survival. Artemis, why do you flee from your salvation? Solyndis, she has fallen under Amon's control. Karax, we have to bring the Spear of Adun online! All life is broken. Fly! It must be reforged. Power transfer completed. The Spear of Adun is ready to depart. Warp all Firstborn freed from Amon aboard, Facesmith. We must flee this world if we are to survive. As you command. Engineering, and last of the three great arc ships. It's created to ensure the continuation of our culture in a dark time. Within its chambers rest contingents of zealots, Templar who bravely sacrificed, entering suspension so that they may serve as this vessel's army. Though it pains me greatly, I have begun severing their nerve cords. The ship's lower decks contain a star forge capable of constructing weapons of war. There is much to learn about this vessel. Its technology is ancient, yet highly advanced. We are aboard a relic from a glorious time, when our culture shined as a constellation. The Celestial Array has been updated, Hierarch. From here, you may select our next point of travel. With this vessel, we will avenge what has transpired, Karax, and we will free the Templar. of life is extensive. Hold. We are receiving a transmission. Praise the gods. Artanis, you live. Matriarch Vorazun, what has happened here? Shakuras has fallen. The warp gate linking this world to Ire has been reopened. Countless hybrid and Zerg pour from the other side. They've obliterated our cities, decimated our Shadow Guard. We are trying to evacuate the remaining population, but I am uncertain whether we can hold long enough to get them safely away. We will give you the time you need, Matriarch. My Templar are inbound.
Preserver? Released from stasis? She still bears her nerve cords. She is tethered to the collar. Hold. I am Rohana, Grand Preserver of the Valari, and your War Council Advisor. You must be the Executor in command. You are not possessed by the Dark One. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering at the edges of my every thought. But I am not corrupted. Preservers of my station have trained to control the Kala's every rebel. I assure you, I will stave off this evil and serve you better by doing so. As all Preservers, I hold the memories and personalities of Protoss prior to my submission to Stasis. This will allow me to contrast your tactical decisions with those of past Executors. From this chamber, you will be able to make all military allocations. I am Artanis, Hierarch of the Daylong. I lead all that is left of our civilization. Your memories are indeed of use, Rohana. But make no mistake, if you fall to this corruption, I will not hesitate to destroy you. It is understood. I am prepared for the Firstborn's darkest hour. Come, let me show you what may be done here. Shakura's teams with Amon Zerg broods. We hold only the southwest quadrant of Ptolemetros, and even that is in peril. We must evacuate our people, but the launch bays have been defiled with infestation. Only ground forces can clear them. Once the bays are free, the planetary warp conduit will allow our ships to escape safely. The launch bays will be cleared. Your people will survive, Matriarch. This I swear. Artanis, I'm detecting a rift opening near your position. Avoid Thrasher. By the gods, it's sieging the warp conduit. Karax, are any of the Spear of Adun's weapon systems ready for use? Orbital strike is online. Designating targets. Thrasher has been weakened. Warriors, move in and seal its fate! The Thrasher is slain, but it will be for naught if the launch bays remain infested. I am the blade. The launch bays have been reclaimed. Matriarch, you may complete the evacuation. You have saved my people, Artanis. And they will never forget it. Despite this tragedy, I am pleased to see you once more, Hierarch. I had hoped that our next interaction would be your announcement of Ayer's reclamation. As did I. Instead, the Templar have fallen. Then the threat is greater than I realized. We cannot let the same fate befall Shakuras. It is too late for that. Amon Zerg poured through the warp gate as a tide of flesh and blade. They have already overrun Telemetros and are nearing the shrines of Lizul. This world is lost. With such an infestation, Shakuras must be destroyed. Destroy Shakuras? I will not permit this. Permit? Shakuras was my people's home long before we offered your sanctuary upon it. I will not let this world be a den for Amon's forces. Worlds may fall to ash. What matters is that we endure. To lose Shakuras and Ayer. We are a vagabond people, Artanis. Our true home has always been Ayer. Let us reclaim it together. It is fitting that the daughter of Raja Gaul decides the fate of the world she helped forge. Let us make preparations at once. The Solar Matrix Core. 
Truly an impressive sight. A synthetic star. I imagine what went into its creation. This chamber provides power to the Spear of Adun and all its systems. Its radiance even contributes nourishment for our warriors. How long until you can bring its tactical systems online? System analysis has begun, but the star is laying dormant for an eon. It will take time, and a powerful ignition catalyst like Solarite to restore it to full capacity. Solarite? The Firstborn haven't utilized Solarite in millennia. This vessel is ancient, Hierarch. We will need to exhaust even unconventional resources if we are to bring it to bear. Do what you can, Faith Smith. We will acquire what you need. Very well. You may begin augmenting the Solar Core whenever you are ready. Tell me, Vorazun, how will we bring destruction to your world? The Zelnaga Temple's phase prism can be overloaded, forcing a spike of energy into the planet's core. Enough of a charge, and the planet will shatter. Amon will not possess my world. I have been thinking about this choice. Are you reconsidering? No. My time here has reminded me of the courage of your people. That we must fight. If we are to suffer, then so too will Amon. We will lure as many of Amon's hybrid and Zerg through the gateway as we can. Only once enough are through to wound him, will we overload the temple and flee. You mean to bleed him? Bold. But we can't risk the forces it would require to do such a thing. Leave that to me, Matriarch. I have learned much from the Dark Templar. Our forces have secured the Zelnaga Temple Grounds. Artemis, how go your preparations? I am configuring the temple now, but without the Uraj and the Kallus, it will take time. Time is not all it will take. The temple's energies are regulated by three Zenith Stones. Only once they are destroyed can the temple be overloaded. Until then, we must defend it from the Zerg and their hybrid masters. It is done. The Zenith Stones have been destroyed. Once your task is complete, the temple can be overloaded. Understood. And the temple alignment is proceeding well. Now. We wait for the Zerg. What service? The Zerg approached the temple from the southeastern access way. The Master's gaze falls on your shadowed world. By the gods, I have never seen such abomination. Warriors, focus all cannons on the hybrid. We must defend the temple. Born witness to so many Zerg. Was this the threat my mother once faced? No, Matriarch. This threat is a far greater one, and it will take all we have to resist it. The temple thrums with energy. It is ready. Templar, initiate dimensional recall. Get to safety now! Nidus works. The Zerg are poised to breach the temple! Have faith, Matriarch. Your fallen people cry out for vengeance, and they shall have it.
is said that those of our kind suffer, separated from the glory of the Kala. This is Commander James Raynor. Artanis? Man, ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Friend Raynor, you seem rather occupied. Just another day at the office. Who are these insurgents? Call themselves Mobius Corps, an elite guard that used to work for Dr. Narud. They've been striking worlds throughout the sector, leaving few survivors. Each world attacked, reported hybrid leaving them. Then truly, no world is beyond Amon's reach. Reinforce those bulkheads. Reposition to Mark 7 Alpha. We need to form a battle line. They've overrun Sky Shield, our orbital defense platform. Looks like they've destroyed its atmospheric stabilizers. It's fallen fast. If it crashes, it'll obliterate August Grad. We will ensure that does not happen, Commander. Engage their fleet, and keep their assault at bay. Like old times, buddy. Like old times. It seems fate has drawn us together once again, James Raynor. I call it luck. Luck is a concept that is purely human in origin. We Protoss see the synchronicity of events, and know there is a grander design behind them. Well, it don't matter how you see it. The result's the same. So what brought you all the way out here, Artanis? Zeratul believed that the artifact in your possession, the Keystone, he called it, could guide us to the Zelnaga. Where's Zeratul now? The Dark Prelate fell on Ire. His last hope was that I would continue his quest and find a way to stop Amon. Damn it. Always knew there was only one way this quest of his was gonna end. His loss is great. I know you called him friend. I went through hell to get that artifact because of his damned fool prophecies. Lost a lot of good men. If he wanted you to have it, take it. It's yours. Right now, though, we got a city to save. Now, this ain't good. Sky Shield's not gonna last much longer. At this rate, We've got maybe ten minutes left till it lands smack dab on our capital. Your suspicions were correct, Commander. Mobius Corps is disabling the platform's atmospheric stabilizers as we speak. The damage appears repairable, Hierarch. Yeah. Assuming Mobius Corps leaves anything left to repair. Artanis, if you can clear out those troops, my boys can patch up those stabilizers. That should buy us some extra time. We must move quickly. 
It will take the combined power of all five stabilizers to halt the platform's descent. Friend Raynor, Sky Shield has been stabilized, and Mobius Corps is retreating. Admiral Horner will take control of the station from here. I gotta say, I owe you big time for this one, partner. That's a hell of a thing your boys did, Artanis. Sky Shield is back online. We're about to call down the cavalry. We will join you on the surface and extract the Keystone. I got some bad news for you. Seems our friends below had the same idea. While we were fighting to get planet side, the Imperial Palace was raided. Security data indicates the Keystone was taken. My mama used to have a saying, when it rains, it floods. I am uncertain as to how this saying is helpful, friend Raynor. <laughs> Me either. Wait a minute. I'm getting intel. A Mobius core evac team is headed toward Bennett Port. They got the Keystone. We shall not let them escape. Welcome to Bennett Port. At least what's left of it. Mobius Corps entrenched themselves here to keep us from the artifact. Valerian's setting up his base now. Once he gets... Oh. Raynor! What is happening? The hybrid are channeling void energy into the Keystone. The resulting psionic disruption has overwhelmed the Terrans. Deploy our immortals. We need heavy assault to protect these Terrans until the disruption subsides. Man, that's two I owe you, Artanis. Felt like I was losing my damn mind. The Keystone is recharging, Commander. They will surely activate it again soon. We must reclaim it. You ain't kidding. Let's lock and load, partner. did it. We pushed Mobius Corps back. Damn. Look at this place. Even the Zerg didn't tear into the city like this. Did you know this warrior? No. But I know his story. I know all their stories. None of them ever think it'll end like this. Reports been coming in from all over. Dominion worlds overrun. Outposts destroyed. A lot more dead boys out there. Warriors. Death is the fate of all warriors. A fate we too may soon embrace. Fate ain't written, Artanis. Way I see it, if Zeratul believed you could make a difference in all this, then this fight's just begun.
It is your custom to shake the hand of a friend, is it not? his rage, seen his truth. If you will not sever your connection to the Kala, then you will be contained, kept in stasis. I will preserve the Kala however I must. If I must endure imprisonment, so be it. Glacius facility. Within lies the greatest weaponry the Empire ever developed. It is the site of the Purifier Revival Program. Purifiers? The forbidden weapon? They were sealed away by the Conclave, never to be restored. The ancient purifiers are not kept here, Preserver. They are still locked away. Here, on Glacius, our researchers have been developing prototype weaponry inspired by that ancient technology. You speak above your caste, Kalai. This is unimaginable heresy. We are outmatched by Amon's forces and facing annihilation. If this technology may help us, we will use it. the facility. Amon has unleashed his servants. Ready our warriors. Hierarch, the Taldarim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius's orbital defenses. I am First Ascendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here, and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little which you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in! Engaging foe. Acquiring access. 
Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. You are not as weak as you appear, Artanis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of Adun. Wait, there is a prototype warrior here as well. I will have to examine it more closely. You wish to see me, Faye Smith. Artanis, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix? How... how can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the Purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the Source personality, I thought... well... He believes he was brought from Stasis and made a Dragoon. Why are you here, Phoenix? I was given a directive by Ongaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of Adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a Trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the will of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. Carax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of Adun. Hierarch, I see the master construction of the Zelnaga now. Their understanding that energy, essence, and information are all one. Each interchangeable, each mutable. Then you uncovered the information Zeratul foresaw within this keystone. I have. From what I understand, it will lead us to Ulnar. Ulnar? It is a place of myth. A realm whispered of in our legends. The homeworld of the Zelnaga. I believe the Keystone can project its location. Show me, Karax. It cannot be. I... I must be in error. The Altarian Rift! That is impossible. Nothing could survive within such unrelenting forces. It appears I have failed you, Hierarch. I do not believe so, Karax. It is said that the Zelnaga came from a place where no life should be. This aligns with Zeratul's prophecies. We will go in. Make preparations at once. into our base particles. Yet, here we stand, between universes. Zeratul was right. It is Ulnar. Think of it, Matriarch. The cradle of all life, hidden all these years. Yes, but why?
Here lies the resting place of the Zelnaga. We must find a way to unseal this access way if we are to awaken them. Grand Preserver, what do you know of the temple in the depths below? Only myth, legend. Here upon Ulnar, the destined races will seek ascension. Their very presence shall open the way forward. I believe these celestial locks are the key. Our forces should claim them in the hopes the way forward presents itself. Hyrock, the Taldorim are here. They are taking control of the celestial locks. The voices demands are clear. Keep the temple sealed. As long as they control the locks, the secrets of the temple will remain hidden from us. Warriors, engage the enemy and reclaim the locks. Amon will not have his victory so easily. All five locks have been captured, Hierarch. The access way is opening. It seems Amon's forces have drawn back. I sense only a great stillness from within the temple. I have come seeking the Zelnog. fighting them for days. Progress has been... difficult. The prophecies foretell of two ascended races, working together to seek out the halls of revelation within the temple. Only with both present will the shrines reveal the means to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. I've never cared much for prophecy. And yet, despite our history, here we stand, together. Perhaps you should start.
gathers power. It should be active shortly. Friends of yours? Not quite. It appears Amon's forces have found a way into the temple. We must slay them all. I think I'm starting to like you, Artanis. Well fought, Kerrigan. Let us see what the Ancients choose to reveal to us. I... I see now. The Zelnaga were the first. Born within the Void. Their sacred purpose was to cultivate life and perpetuate the infinite cycle. At a new universe's creation, they take a physical form. If destroyed, they are thrust back into the void. All of this time, they have waited for us to assemble the Keystone and find our way here. Amon indwells my people, possessing them through the Kala. But he has no physical form. If he were separated from the Templar, he could be forced back into the Void. Come on, Artanis. We've still got a long way to go. The shrines look like they're covered with pictograms. How do you know what they say? Communing with the shrine is more than reading carvings. Each atom of the stone has been placed with meaning, purpose, Zelnaga began to seed the universe with life. They created us, just as they gave life to a numberless assembly of races in other universes. Every time, they observe and identify the potential of their offspring, never interfering. The infinite cycle will always be the same. Two races are destined to emerge. One, pure of essence, an indomitable spirit capable of great change, and one, pure of form, a being capable of vast psionic potential, able to house the essence of a Zelnaga. Purity of essence and form, the Zerg and the Protoss, but if the Zelnaga do not interfere, then it was Amon who uplifted my people. All we thought was the Zelnaga was a lie. Come on, Artanis. We're not far from having some answers. I believe this must be the final hall. Wait. The doors are open. The constructs destroyed. The shrine is under attack! Only be the work of Amon. We delay no longer. Our salvation will not be stolen from us. Our destiny awaits us. For Zeratul. For Aya. Only darkness awaits. It's done. Do your shrine thing, Artanis. These gods of yours have a lot to answer for. Ahead of us, within the Chamber of Ascension, the Zelnaga have slumbered as civilizations grew, fell, and formed again. They will awaken when the two destined races arrive. Then, the elders among them will give their lives to bestow their essence. And pure of form and pure of essence will be reborn as Zelnaga, shepherds of the infinite cycle. So, what do you say? Ready to meet your maker? Indeed. Come. The Chamber of Ascension lies.
lies ahead, and our salvation within. Something's not right here. from the temple below. Target the epicenter. that the moment you're released, your blade will not be in my back. You waste time. Lower your blades. I am Alarak, first descendant of the Taldarim. Amon has betrayed my people. Retribution will be claimed for this, and if your hierarch survives, he will aid in it. Make your decision. You will take us to Artanis. Most wise. Rohana. Rohana! You sought honor, and now you have found it. The cradle of life, both your beginning. And your end. Release her, Amon. Do you seek deliverance within these empty halls? You will find none here. Only the truth of the Zelnaga's failure. Let her 
go! I offer a gift. Release in oblivion. Silence! <laughs> <laughs> This path will lead your forces to Artanis. I have done as I promised, Dark Templar. Now go tell your Hierarch. I am waiting for him. Matriarch, our High Templar have volunteered to aid you. The loss of the Kala was not easily borne. But we are ready to serve once again. Templar, I thank you for your bravery in this dire time. We will recover our Hierarch. Templar, join us, quickly! To me, my swarm! Vorazun, your forces have arrived just in time. Amon has opened a portal to the Void. It must be shut down before it tears us apart. Agreed. My swarm and I will bear the brunt of Amon's power and buy you time. But it's up to you to seal that portal. The Gateway draws power from these Void Crystals. We will need to destroy them if we are to seal the gate. Then it shall be done. I'm pressing towards a crystal. If you feel like joining me, don't get in the way. Send him back into the void. My swarm was broken here, Artanis. I'll need time to rebuild my forces. There is no time. My people are being consumed. Their very flesh turned into Amon's own. I cannot wait. Then you must do as I have. Gather allies, subjugate enemies, do whatever you can to ensure victory. Survival is never pretty. We are very different leaders. But I thank you nonetheless. Until we meet again. Artanis, Hierarch of the Twilight Council, Warlord of the Templar. I had expected so much more. Arrogance! Watch your words, or my blade will watch them for you. Oh, that's hardly a way to speak of one who saved your master's life. You care little for my survival, Alarak. What is the true reason you've come to me? Our god broke his ancient covenant and cast us low. These are lies, Artanis. I am the liar? Are you not but a lie incarnate machine? Prototh. Speak your peace, Alarak. The Taldarim's death fleet amasses its slain awaiting the start of a full-scale invasion. I come with an offer. You will aid me in invoking a challenge for the right to rule my kind as High Lord. And in return, I will grant you a cessation of hostilities between our people. Phoenix, rally my advisors. It appears we have much to discuss. I believe I have found a way to save our people. As Zeratul foresaw, this keystone can indeed be our salvation. Explain yourself. As we have seen, the keystone was designed to be found and assembled by those who would ascend to become Zelnaga. After leading them to Ulnar, it would also expel its stored energy to awaken the slumbering Zelnaga. The Keystone siphons energies and redistributes essence, matter, information, consciousness. To this device, they are all the same. I see that now. This is how it cleansed Kerrigan? It extracted the essence that forged her into the Queen of Blades. 
Then it used that energy to release Amon from the void. If I can discover how to control the Keystone, we could use it to extract Amon from the Kala and save our people. Then Zeratul has led us to hope after all. Continue your research, Karax. We have a war to take to Amon. The Void Portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada, using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Kapulu Sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet. But Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately. Eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zerbroods in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Mobius Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artanis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough Purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against a slave master? I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once! The purifier stasis grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigan's. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. Cyrus, the Vault of the Purifiers. It is fortunate that Amon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. Well done. The area is secure. Warp coordinates for our Nexus Point are locked. Karax, activate the Megalith. Authorization in progress. The Megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. 
We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. The Megalith is online. We must ensure it reaches the stasis locks safely. is destabilizing and the grid is down we've done it cybros is free from stasis we call our forces from endion's surface we take this battle to cybros these zerg are truly as tenacious as the archives claim their infestation already spreads across the surface and Amon's hybrid have begun fortifying the hives. We must hope for the aid of the purifiers to win this battle. Indeed. According to the station schematics, Cybros's power architecture is divided into four distinct quadrants. Each is sealed by three null circuits. Destroying all of the circuits in a quadrant should restore its power, activating at least some of the purifiers. Energy flow increasing exponentially. It's working! The purifiers are activating! I am Executor Clolarian. I address the leader of the Firstborn. Executor Clolarian, your deeds are taught to all Templar, even to this day. Cease your adjuration. Why do you seek the purifiers? Brothers, you were created to protect the Empire, yet we did not treat you as you deserved, as true Templar. I implore you to forgive our ancestors' mistakes, to take up your ancient charge once more, and join us as equals. We will see if you speak truth. You will aid us in purifying this alien threat. Only then shall we discuss this further. Sentinels, advance upon the alien stronghold. Purify the invaders. Hierarch, Cybros has reached full power, and the purifiers are cleansing the station of the Zerg. Fight on, brothers. Slaughter them to the last. Wait. I've been disconnected from Cybros' systems. The core is activating. It's going to fire! Lauren, what are you... Commencing purification. signs disappearing. The surface of Endion has been cleansed of life. It is over. Phoenix, contact the purifiers. I would speak to them. Executor Clolarian. You have awoken during the Firstborn's darkest hour. 
You have shown us that the Purifiers are a mighty force that could turn the tide of this war. I ask you now to honor your sacred charge as Templar and fight beside your brethren as you did before. You are no different than the Conclave. Once again, you try to control us. No. I wish to make amends for our past failures. I have fought battles alongside one of you. Phoenix, the one you are linked with. The Conclave feared your kind, but they are no more. I know you are true Templar. I have seen it. I ask that we stand as one, or none of us shall stand at all. I will counsel with the others. They are deliberating. If we are to follow, we would ask the Entity Phoenix to speak for us. There is much about this time we do not yet understand. But as long as you hold to your word, Hierarch, the Purifiers shall join the Firstborn. an armada. Behold the Death Fleet under Amon's command, poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Talgarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. Have you come to bear witness to the end? This shall not be our end, but a new beginning. It shall be done. You go to your death, Alarak. The Dark God will destroy you. I have heard enough of his lies. Your ritual is complete. What now? Well, they were not part of the ritual, but these traitors would have aided Malash in it, and I wish to see them die. Now the time has come. High Lord, hear me! I invoke the right of Rakshir. Fight me according to our laws, or die a coward! We meet in combat at daybreak. You shall have your challenge. I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh yes, I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Talgarim have no collar for him to control. 
I'm turn the chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. The right of Rakshir has begun. From this moment, only Alarak and Malash are allowed to engage each other in combat directly. One must overpower the other and reach the Pit of Sacrifice. There, the victor will stand as the new leader of the Talgarim, and the loser's life will be forfeit. They appear quite evenly matched. This is true. However, from what I have learned, Rakshir allows the champion's supplicants to support them psionically. Our warriors will be able to aid Alara. But likewise, the Taldarim can assist Malash. I will ready our forces. Malash will fight ruthlessly to hold on to his power. We must be prepared to do the same. Alderim, by the right of Rakshir, I am your High Lord. Listen and obey. Malash promised you lies. There is no ascension. The Taldarim will never be uplifted and become hybrid. Amon betrayed us, and for this, he must die. Alderim have yielded to my authority and the Death Fleet is now under my command. I will use them both to avenge Amon's betrayal. Do your people believe in this cause, as you do? What they believe is of little consequence. What matters is that they obey. You choose to rule differently than I, Alarak. Despite this, we may not only end the violence between our kind, but forge a powerful alliance. Can we now? My people are vastly different than yours, Hierarch. We both desire vengeance, and we are both Protoss. Is that not enough? Oh, very well. Submit to my absolute authority, and we may indeed unite our forces. Do not test me, Taldarim. Amon is a mighty foe. Your people cannot hope to stand alone against him. You will side with me, and together we will send him back to the Abyss. <laughs> so you do understand my culture after all. Let us say that for now, we have struck another bargain. Hierarch, as ordered, my Dark Templar have tracked Mobius Core to their base within the asteroid belt of Revenscar. Well done. Kerax, what do you know of their defenses? The asteroid field is highly volatile and guards the base's outer rim. The Spear of Adun will not be able to pass. However, our carriers could strike at the heart of the facility. We will set a course at once. Amon has taken away my armies. So shall I take away his. Our ships for assault. Hierarch, Mobius Core's vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. Templar, 
to me! We will not let the Spear of a Doom fall! Kerax, we cannot let this assault interfere with our plan. Mobius Corps will not expect a counterattack. Though you are not a warrior, you know their defenses better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Facesmith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. As you command, Hierarch. The Mobius facility. As we suspected, this is where Amon's hybrid armies are born. The operation is fueled by three power cores. Destroying them will destabilize the facility and allow us to annihilate the remaining structure. Keras, Mobius Corps' battle cruisers are warping away from the Spear of Adun. Yes, I believe I have found them. It is no matter. We will not be deterred. The final power core has been destroyed. We must strike now. Hierarch, is the Spear of Adun secure? Yes. We repelled the invaders before they could reach the Solar Core. Our weapon systems are yours to command. It was my honor to serve. Fire! Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. And yet, for the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Carax of the Kalai, you were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the Age of Casts has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. You wound me, Artanis. You strive to maintain this flawed existence, but you will not stop me. Amon. I have destroyed your Terran army, eradicated your hybrid facility, and turned your servants to my side. All that is left is your destruction. Impudence, back! You are insignificant in the face of the salvation I bring. You will come to Iron and die. Is gone. He is so arrogant. Just as he could look into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred psi matrix that powers ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. For the day long. Retribution. We will set a course for ire.
brothers, sisters, the time has come for our attack. Oh well, this is truly a miracle. Rohana has used her connection to the Kala to reveal Amon's plan. He forges a hybrid body to indwell, and exists within it and the Kala. But he remains vulnerable until this form is complete. He must call upon the Golden Armada for defense. There is still a way to prevent them from warping to Ayr, by dismantling the Warp Network's power structures. That would grant us the time we need to destroy Amon's hybrid form. Clever. Once he only has the Templar to inhabit, we unleash the Keystone, removing Amon from the Kala. It will not contain him for long. No, but long enough for our people to sever their connection to the Kala and thrust him back into the Void. This optimism is dangerous. We could destroy them all from orbit and not waste such time. How dare you suggest the destruction of our people? I will not accept that, Alarak. What we face is a true horror, but we must endure it. Ready yourselves. The final confrontation is upon us, and we will meet it head on. The psionic matrix is the beating heart of Ayr, formed from a lattice of Kedaran crystals embedded within the planet's crust. Its power structures can only be accessed from three points. If we destroy them, it should disable the warp network. I will send three forces. We shall destroy the Matrix before Amon can recall the Golden Armada to Ayr. Vorazum, Alarak. You must enter the Citadel of the Executor to reach the first power structure, but the city has been infested. No matter. We shall purge Antioch of the Zerg. Even if I must do it myself. The inner chamber is completely sealed. My stealth will not avail us here. Then let us try a more direct approach. Guard me while I prepare. Yes? Zerg and a power structure will trouble us no more. Contact the others and tell them of the victory I have brought you. Rohana, Alarak and I have destroyed the power structure. Alert the next team that they may begin. Carax, Phoenix, the loss of the first power structure has not gone unnoticed. Hybrid have convened to defend the area. Good. They shall suffer the full extent of my wrath. All in good time, friend Phoenix. The Hybrid are a powerful foe, and if we're going to face them, we will need support. I've spent quite some time studying Void Energy. I should be able to reclaim robotic units and structures from Amon. Then let us assemble our army so the Hybrid may fall before it. Your crusade has failed. With the hybrid eliminated, we can safely destroy the power structure. There. The Matrix was never meant to be dismantled like this. It has released a massive overflow of psionic energy from the surface of Ayr. Hierarch, I fear you are in great peril. Psionic energy is gathering in the cavern behind you. If it reaches your position... Do not fear, Carax. My warriors and I will keep ahead of the energy storm. Victory is still within our grasp. Artanis, I am sending my Dark Templar to clear the path ahead. 
They shall aid your advance. As will the purifiers deploying warp prisons. The Taldarim shall win this battle for you. My warriors are joining your forces now. We are strong. The final power structure. When it falls, the Psi Matrix will be no more. You have done it, Artanis. We have stayed the Golden Armada's advance, for now. Initiating Dimensional Recall. Now that the Psi Matrix has fallen, Amon cannot warp the Golden Armada back to Ayr to defend himself. We must destroy his host body before it fully awakens. For the sake of our people, we cannot falter. something more, and you will not stop us! Brace yourself for the full might of the Firstborn! So this is Amon's host body, an abomination made from the flesh of our brethren and the Overmind's carcass. Indeed, Hierarch. My sensors indicate his form is consuming void energies at an alarming rate. In this state, even our most powerful weaponry will have no effect upon Amon. These shards, they generate void energy. Drain life around them to feed his host body. They must be destroyed. The land near them has been destabilized. It's almost as if he's terraforming the area, turning it into the void. Wait, the shards are opening rifts, summoning entities to defend them. Then we are running out of time. Warriors, ready your blades. We fight for the future of Ire. This is it, brothers. All of our hopes rest upon this moment. We stand with the first. And there is he to join the fight. No. Amon's form has awakened. All vessels, ready your weapons, now! dropping. Amon's host has been destroyed. Ready the keystone, Karax. Our final stand approaches. My brethren, hear me, for there is little time left. All that remains of our race, our civilization, are those that stand beside you now, and those corrupted on the surface below. Our kind once stood as stewards of a galaxy full of promise. In our pride and division, we failed that sacred charge and fell to ruin. 
The Kala, designed to bring unity, ultimately only aided those divisions. Its hope was a lie. Today, that lie must come to its end. And with it, our prejudice and arrogance must become a thing of the past. For we now fight in the belief that our kind has not seen its end. That we, Protoss, can stand bound by a belief in unity. And that we, Protoss, will forge a great and mighty new civilization. Trust each other in the fight ahead. Strike as one will. Let our last stand burn a memory so bright that we will be known throughout eternity. The Keystone is in place, Hierarch. It will require time to charge to its full power. The Nerezim stand ready, Artanis. We will hold the northern entrance to the temple. The Purifiers and I will secure the southern approach. And I lay claim to the primary battle line. Amon shall know my wrath first hand. My forces will ensure the Keystone's safety and provide for our defense. We will reinforce your warriors as we are able. Hierarch, the Zerg surround us. But what of the Golden Armada? Disabling the Psi Matrix delayed their return, but... Amon will bring the full might of the Great Fleet to bear against us. Of that, there is no doubt. But we shall not break. We are the Daylon, united as never before. Entaro Adun. Entaro Tassadar. Entaro Zeratul. Enemies are swarming against all three entrances. Resist them, brothers! Now, all shall be consumed by the cleansing flame! Energy Matrix charged. The Keystone is ready, Hierarch! To the Keystone! Let them come to us!
The Dark One has been banished back into the void. For now, we are free. All of this because of you. I will bring our great dream of a unified Protoss to bear. We will gather the survivors, rebuild our cities. We will reject our old divisions and forge a new society. Together, we will shape our destiny amongst the stars. How can this be? The Hierarch, we are receiving an unauthorized transmission. It is from Ulnar. It is Kerrigan. We have waited long enough within this accursed realm. If the Queen of Blades truly wishes to speak, she would be here now. She ain't gonna stand us up, Solendus. If she says it's important, you better believe it is. Trusting this deceiver is not an act I am accustomed to, Commander. Such little faith for a Templar. Artanis. Jim. So what's going on, Sarah? What's so urgent you got us all here for? Amon lives. His hatred festers in the void. And he already plans to return. Even now, I hear a voice calling me. This may be the great enemy's trickery. This voice is not his. There's something else in there. Something tormented and desperate. But it's benevolent. Amon's strength grows by the moment. He may not return during our lives, but he will return. And what is it you suggest we do, Kerrigan? There is a gateway to the Void, within Alnar. I intend to go through it and destroy the Fallen One once and for all. I need your help. Sarah's right. We can't kick this can down the road. This burden is ours, like it or not. Zeratul foresaw that this day would come. You have our blades, Kerrigan. sideways real fast. These shadows are tearing apart our ships. We're not gonna last long out here. The voice is coming from up ahead. We have to reach it. My forces will investigate. Your warriors are close now, Artanis. I can sense it. We must find the corruption and clear it. The shadows are slowly consuming our warriors. Strike true, Templar! Go forth. Purge the corruption. That voice. It is my former master. Tassadar. Do as he says. I call to you in dire need. Now you have come to this realm. Here I am prisoner, 
You must free me from his grasp. Whose grasp? Ah, the Queen of Blades. What a pleasant surprise. Nerud, I thought you were dead. Without form, we, the Zelnaga, return to the Void. Here, I live on. But you will not be so fortunate. Remember what you did to me? Stupid. You have come to gloat, haven't you? No. I've come to say good night, you son of a bitch. Artemis. You must come to me. It is Tassadar, my mentor. How can this be? Honored one, to see you bring such joy to my... Tassadar. A form I chose to inspire action in the one called Zeratul. In you. The prophecies of Zeratul followed. The result of my psionic extension into the minds of primitive beings. You are Zelnaga. The one who called to me. Who are you? Oros. Last shepherd of the cycle. Enemy of Amon. He is one with the Void. It is an extension of his will, binding me as prisoner. Why have you summoned us here? The cycle must not be broken. The merging of purity of essence and purity of form must continue. You, the one called Kerrigan, can merge with my essence. Now, fulfill your destiny. Ascend as Zelnaga. Continue the infinite cycle. Zelnaga? You want to change her into one of you? Oh, damn it. Sarah! No! Only a Zelnaga can defeat the Fallen One. Sarah. You don't gotta do this. You don't have to let yourself be mutilated again. Together, no, we'll... Jim. With all I've done, the lives ruined, worlds destroyed, there's blood on my hands. I need to cleanse it. This is my destiny. I need to focus until this is finished. Jim, you'll have to handle this one. All right. I've set up my defenses at these two points. Looks like we gotta stand our ground if we're gonna get out of this alive. That's 
it. I have nearly all of the Zelnaga's essence. I have been honored to serve you, my queen. The swarm is yours, Zagara. Remember our lessons. I shall. It is time. anything like me. Sarah, Artanis and I are in position, and we're not leaving, so don't even say it. Now what's the plan? Amon is enveloped within a barrier of energy. His void crystals make him nearly invincible. But they are also his weakness. When they leave him to recharge their energy, they become vulnerable to attack. We cannot take them down alone. His strength is too great in this realm. You have yet to see my power. We will bring his barrier down. Then I will finish it. Looks like this is our last dance, darling. Let's get going. Amon just ripped the ground out from under my command center. Now how are we supposed to fight something like that? Finally, the barrier has fallen. It is over, Amon. for the entirety of your existence. You know nothing about me. I care little for the Zelnaga's infinite cycle. Or your twisted lies. No. I choose something different. I choose freedom. For all of us. Arcturus Mix 
Valerian Manx held a monumental celebration in the Capitol Wing of Augustgrad, heralding in a new age of peace and prosperity within the Terran Dominion. On the Senate steps, Admiral Matthew Horner reaffirmed the military support of the new Dominion government and expressed his optimism for the latest rounds of peace negotiations. Arthur Mines, man. Just like you always said. You know, Matt, someday you're gonna wind up leading this bunch of misfits. I made a deal with the devil, Jimmy. You will hold her life in your hands. You about ready to get out of here, cowboy?